Dr. David Schimmel, a leading climate scientist, Nobel laureate, and chairman of Intelligent, and Dr. Pooja Kosla, vice president of client development and one of the inventors of Intelligent's patented smart climate technology. Welcome to you both on the business brief. Good to meet you, Ryan. Same here, Ryan. Really good to meet you. Very nice to have you. Companies, decision makers, communities are increasingly focused on climate change as a progressive and important risk to our world, our economies, to our quality of life. Intelligent is a Colorado-based company, tech company, that is working to help customers make smarter investment decisions based on climate data. David, you alongside Tom Stoner, co-founded Intelligent. Can you tell us a little bit more behind the why of the company? Yeah, there, there, there are two sides to the why, Ryan. First, we, Tom and I uh, come from the climate science side of the house and the environmental business side of the house. And we came together with two important ideas. One, that decarbonization is needed to stabilize the climate. We, we can't just reduce emissions. We really have to take them down to what's being called net zero now. And that's a real challenge. The, 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 and that came from the climate science side of our partnership. The, the other side of the issue is that in order to do that, we have to replace an enormous number of devices, services, capabilities that we use in society. And to do that takes innovation and investment. It takes the engagement of the private sector being creative, not just a sort of a moral crusade for us all to be better people. Pooja, tell us a little bit about what the business is actually aiming to achieve over the next year. Ryan, that's a beautiful question. Businesses aiming to achieve a tool that can keep people on their commitments because in ESG space, in climate space, we see a lot of commitments. We see what should be done, but nobody's talking about how it should be done. How can asset owners, asset managers integrate tools that can maximize return on investments as well as environmental outperformance in products in financial derivatives, in investments where, which are close to their day-to-day -day operations, like their retirement investments, their school funds for their kids, how they can invest in these tools by making an in impact on their environment and by saving returns for future. Let's talk, take that a step further, Pooja. Research from the Boston Consulting Group suggests that 87% of people expect companies to do more when it comes to the environment. Pooja, now you've shared with me that Intelligent is providing actionable insights for banks, asset owners, asset managers, and insurance companies tackling transition risk while actively contributing to climate change solutions. So can you give us an example of how Intelligent is working with the industry to account for climate change and to help them make better investment decisions? Yes, so what we do we work with asset owners, asset managers. We have clients like United Nations Joint Staff Pension Fund, Society Joint Role, UBS, who are either building products, financial derivatives with us, like annuity products, ETFs, and mutual funds. And we build products, we consult them to build bespoke universes, which are climate aligned and climate resilient. And these universes are basically then reaching to consumers as annuity options or ETF options to invest in. Second, we also work with them by providing data knowledge. And we are also working to build up a software which will help them to analyze climate risk, both transition and physical, and how their portfolios are currently affected by their risk and how they can optimize their portfolio using our IP by making it more aligned to their net zero goals, to their climate commitments. So these are the services that we are looking forward to provide, to partner with the financial institutions because what can be measured can be managed. So we are helping them to measure. 
let's segue to the whole big conversation around net zero and intelligence role, David. Now, the world community is seeking to attain net zero emissions by 2050. For our viewing audience, put simply, net zero emissions refers to the balance between the amount of greenhouse gas produced and the amount removed from the atmosphere. David, is this realistic and can intelligent help stakeholders get there in just 29 years time? So net zero is a grand challenge that humanity is beginning to sign up to address. And uh, 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 to achieve net zero, the first thing we have to do is to get the emissions as low as possible. So we don't have to take up too much because that's either technologically challenging, for example, with free air carbon dioxide removal, or it takes a lot of land to do it through, for example, planting new forests where we might wanna be growing more food. So net zero is a, is a tremendous challenge, but I think that it's, it's well within our technical uh, and commitment capability to achieve. And uh, intelligence, Intelligence role is to provide information to investors, to consumers, to institutions, to help them direct their investment to the most innovative, to the most committed organizations that are making a difference. And because we have to invest to achieve net zero, we need to invest in new technologies, we need to invest in new infrastructure, electric car charging stations all over the place, for example. We need those investments to generate wealth as well as requiring investment. And so we need to find the most innovative, the best managed and the most effective companies to put our money into so that we get to net zero the most in, by the most quick path. It makes a lot of sense to me. Intelligence, David Chanel and Pooja Koslo. We are counting on you all to help make a difference and make this world better. Thanks for joining us on the Business Brief. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan.